Everybody, welcome back to channel day 29, August Rush. Two more days left. Got two boxes here, one from FNAC and one from eBay. And uh, yeah, we're going to open up, open them up and see what is inside. Stay tuned while I picture roll. All right. Like I said, I've got two packages here. Uh, the first one's from FNAC. The other one is from eBay. Um, this FNAC, I literally ordered this stuff on a Wednesday or Thursday. And I had it here by the following Monday. Um, they used DHL. And DHL got it here quickly. And it looks to have gotten here safely. So I ordered three things. Um, this was in stock now. The other two are pre-orders. So they won't be in for a couple months. But that's what I do a lot like about FNAC. Um, they will send out stuff as it comes in. And um, yeah. So I missed out on this originally. Uh, when this came out, it sold out quickly. But um, just happened so FNAC had some in stock. And that is Daniel Day-Lewis. And the last of the Mohicans. Going by Stab and Steve here, we're going to open the steel book up. Yes, I use a knife to open up my steel books. Flip the blade over, have it facing up, get into the little slot there. You won't hurt the steel book. Now, this is a nice steel book. It's white with like, um, I wouldn't call it spot gloss, but it's kind of like um, a metallic spot gloss. And it is, is, it is in English. I did not know this was a Michael Mann film. It's been quite a while since I've seen the last of the Mohicans. There we go. We got them on the back. Wow. So this is all Blu-ray. It's got the theatrical cut, the director's cut on Blu-ray, and then... Oh, no. Wait a minute. Yeah. The regular cut on DVD. So it is a three disc. So we got the uh, director's cut on Blu-ray, theatrical cut on Blu-ray, theatrical on DVD. So that's a pretty cool set. Daniel Day-Lewis, Last of the Mohicans from FNAC. That is my first pickup. Next, we're going to go to eBay. Again, fresh out of the mailbox. I guess actually technically fresh off my front porch. Haven't even opened it up yet. So we'll get in here. Hopefully everything is correct. Nothing is damaged. There should be, yes, three steelbooks in here. And I've got enough bubble wrap now from this month to last me like the forever. If I've got to send anybody anything, you will be getting spectacular wrapping from me. Because I've even saved some of the boxes. So which one do I want to show off first? I think we'll just go with we'll go with this one first because it's probably the least spectacular. So I found a seller online. He was out of New York. And he had a bunch of import steel books for dirt cheap. I mean like half the price of what I would find them normally. And he had them all like marked region B, region B. And I think he was doing that and didn't realize like the collectability and the playability actually of region B. Cause I mean, I have a region free player, so I'm going to snap region B titles up quickly. So I think he was undercutting himself by doing that, but it happens. So the first thing I've got Tom Hardy. Legend. No, not the Tom Cruise legend. This is about the McCray twins. So basically Tom Hardy plays two characters in here. The McCray twins. They are actual people. They were British gangsters back in the 40s or 50s. And I really like this movie. Um, Tom Hardy does an excellent job in it. Um, it's a good story. It's got some good action in it. And this steel book is nice. It's debossed. So legends raised up, but it's debossed. Uh, the gun is sticking up a little bit. 
And then you've got, there you go, Tom Hardy. Um, so the brains, the brawn. Um, the one McCray brother was kind of, mm -mm. and um, yeah, it's kind, it's a, <laughs> it's a funny but weird story. But there's also a fight scene in this that is just hilarious. The joke that he tells to start the fight off is great. But yeah, so I picked up Legend. Let's open it up. Let's see what's on the inside. Yeah, just single, single Blu-ray, and there's the brothers are there sitting in the car. But you can't even tell, like in the movie, that they cut Tom in on both of them when they're talking to each other because there's a lot a lot of uh, scenes where they're together moving on um, I didn't buy the limited edition set of this I just went for the regular set and I don't know why I didn't buy the steelbook so now I have the arrow limited edition set with the 4k in it the guy had this steelbook for $20, 20 or $25. I think it was, it was $19.99 or $24.99. I don't remember. I can't find these things any cheaper than like $50, $60. But that is the American Werewolf in London Collector's Edition steelbook. Like I said, I, I went kind of ham on this guy's account. I want to see what else. I saved the, the seller and I want to see what else he has for sale. Because he didn't have anything, like when I bought these three, I wanted them the most. And he didn't really have anything else that interests me. He did have a couple bids going on as well. And I think I liked one of the titles. But I'm not much of a bidder. I like to just buy it now or best offer. So yeah, this is neat. So yes, Ryan doesn't really care for horror that much. But I love an American Werewolf in London. Like... And this steelbook is crazy. It's all holographic. Look at the eyes. Those eyes are so cool. Are they? No, they're not debossed. So they stand out. The teeth and the werewolves stand out. That is cool. Here's the back of it. That is some cool art. And yes. So this is just a standard Blu-ray. Like I said, I've got the 4K also. There's the inside of it. Also has the booklet that came with it with all the art and stuff. And then, yeah, the only other thing is the um, flyer. But yeah, it's got all the cool stuff there in the back. So that is pickup number two from this seller. Now I'll probably just stick the 4K in here and be done with it. And I'll just have the 4K still book. But yeah. I really, really, really like that. That is cool. I didn't realize those eyes did that. So that's pickup number two from this gentleman. And the last thing. So the full slips for these things go for $125, $150 plus. These quarter slips I've seen go for as low as $75, upwards to $150. I bought this for $49.99 from this guy. And that is the MLA Quarter Slip Steelbook. Now this thing, I don't know if there's a number on here. I don't remember who released this. I don't remember if this was a Zavi release or UK release or what company. It's definitely British or UK. But I want to say there is not... A lot of copies of this, and I wish they would really number these. I really wish they would. This steel book is very, very nice. But when I seen this for the price, I was like, okay, I'm buying it. Ooh. <laughs> so this steel book has like the same paint job as the American Werewolf in London, almost. Let's see it here in just one second. Take the quarter slip off. So yeah, quarter slip. That is. So Amelie, it's a French movie. If you've never seen it, it's a really, really, really good movie. Um, kind of a coming of age, young adult movie. Um, actually, I think she's like probably in her 20s. It's been a while since I've seen it. Very whimsical, dreamlike, good dialogue in it. 
beautiful photo photography, cinematography. This steel book is gorgeous. And there we have the inside of it. So yeah, that is my four pickups for this video for August Rush, day 29. Ladder going up. MLA, American Werewolf in London, Legend, and Last of the Mohicans. And if you notice that spine is backwards, yeah, they do that in Europe. I'll have to flip it around. Anyway, Ryan, Movies with Ryan. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a fantastic night.